Hi, I'm Jim with InStuffMusic.com, and I'm here today to do a demo of a new amp from Sir, the Corso. This is a 5 watts amp built for recording. So there's a couple features that it has uh, that are really uh, tailor-made to make it a, a great little recording amp. Let's look at the controls uh, from left to right. There's a lot of little switches and dials on the amp, but they're all pretty straightforward. You have a bright control, obviously, uh, in the down position, you're going to get a kind of a flatter, warmer sound. And then up, it's really going to boost the highs. Clearly here, there. Uh, drive control, that's pretty self-explanatory. That's just the gain. Uh, this is a mid boost uh, treble control. So as you roll that up, it's going to make it brighter, warmer, and more round as you roll it down. Uh, a gain control, that's just going to give you a, a jump in output, so. There's the difference there. Uh, bass control, um, again, as you increase it, it's going to increase the low end. Uh, presence, which is just going to accentuate the high mids and the highs when in the up position, so here's it up and off. Pretty noticeable difference. And a deep control, which is going to boost your low frequencies. Here's it off. Here's it on. Uh, and this is the overall uh, power output. So if you roll this all the way off, like that, there is a line out in the back of this amp that you can use for recording. And you don't have to have a cab hooked up to this. This is all tube, but you don't have to have a cab hooked up to it uh, when you're using it if the power control is rolled all the way off. Um, if you're going to engage this, you do need to have a cab hooked up to it. There are two 8 ohm outputs in the back of this. They're wired in parallel. And your line outs in the back. And let me make sure I'm not forgetting anything back here. Nope. That's it. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put this amp through its paces. It takes pedals really well. We're going to get the pedals a little later in the video. But, uh, Sir gives some sample, um, well, recommended settings for the amplifier. So we're going to run through all of those. The first one uh, I was playing at the beginning of the video is their, just their clean setting, which um, I'm using a Sir Classic T here. And it's just a very clean, you know, real, just real dry sound. All right, so let's move to the next setting. This is a crunch, so I've taken a few notes here. So let me get this set up, bring the drive up, bass up, mid down, treble, gain down, presence up, deep off. I'm gonna take the power to there. All right, let's hear what this sounds like, the crunch setting. And I'll run this with a humbucker guitar in a little bit, so uh, you know you'll get to hear what the, these uh, gainier sounds sound like with the humbucking pickups. All right, I'm gonna move over, move it over to uh, heavy sound. Uh, so we're gonna bring keep the bright on, mid on. Gain's gonna be up, so we're just gonna have a probably a good bit more drive on the sound. Deep switch is gonna be up. Keep the power about what it is. <laughs> Okay, and um, 
The uh, last setting they have is a pen pedal friendly setting, but before we do that, we're gonna take a break and I'm gonna run this with a humbucking guitar. Okay, now we're gonna try some, uh, some sounds with this 335 here. I've left it on the uh, heavy, heavier gain setting, so this is what that gives us. <laughs> take it back to just like a crunch setting. Uh, see how that sounds. Take this down. That off. Bass treble drive. All right. <laughs> Finally, just back to the clean. All right, finally, we're going to do some pedals. Okay, I'm back with the classic T, and we're going to do some pedals into the front of the amp just to hear all that sounds. Uh, I've got a reverb and a drive pedal, so here's a little verb. Um, this is the pedal-friendly setting uh, on the amplifier, so here we go. in a little overdrive. Kick it up a little bit. That's the Sir Corso. 